in the context of the Mekong region, it has limited rule of law and inaccessible justice system. Farmers and indigenous people who are impacted by land conflict often have limited options available to them to protect their land and resource rights. Intensive rubber development, both uh, small and large scale in Southeast Asia, has been a major driver for land grabbing and deforestation. Both small holder and large scale production can achieve similar years and be more sustainable. But support for small holders by the governments and private sector is lacking. Proper investors have generally failed to respect the tenure rights of small holder farmers and not acted responsibly with respect to land management, environmental protection, and labor conditions. In fact, standards for sustainable and responsible natural rubber production have been uh, promulgated by the investment resource countries in the region. But the extent to which the companies are abiding by the laws and respecting voluntary guidelines in their investment practices is still limited. Uh, with the support funding from Mekong Region Land Governance projects Oxfam in Laos, in Cambodia, and in Vietnam are implementing the project to improve their responsible rubber investment practice in the countries. Uh, the purpose of this initiative is to ensure that private sector respect the tenure rights of small owners to improve uh, responsible agriculture investment policies and practices in the rubber sector. By engaging with selected rubber companies who are investing in the uh, countries uh, with an aim to promote the responsible policy and sustainable practice and reinforce the implementation of the relevant guidelines on responsible agricultural investment. Together, Oxfam's and partners uh, Implementing this project, the main activities under these initiatives are identify the criteria and uh, listing labor companies to engage in the region. Then we conduct uh, the study, the, the study of the selected companies with the rubber investment in the region using the follow the money methodology that implementing by uh, Inclusion Development International or IDI, uh, select and then we select and support the companies in piloting implementation of the relevant guidelines, including engagement action plan, assist uh, the companies in ident identifying compliance gaps and improving their uh, performance, including development monitoring framework, and also support the selected companies in identifying documenting practices, change stories for the company's cases. And in the meantime, it's reduced and support a sharing network between the companies in uh, the country level and in the re region level. And finally, by the end of this project, we plan to conduct and support policy dialogues and forums. But currently, we are at the stage of supporting the company piloting the guidelines. Uh, the project team met with total 17 companies, uh, 10 in Laos and 7 in Cambodia, about potential cooperation to improve and strengthen business operations towards sustainable uh, and responsible investment in rubber. Uh, issue discussed. Uh, with the company, including the existing concerns related to conflict of the land borders uh, with local communities, lack of uh, labor force, uh, the increasing or uh, the decreasing supplies of labor, uh, technical capacity skill of uh, worker, and the current export situation in the light of COVID COVID nineteen pandemic. Uh, this company were informed about uh, China Chamber of Commerce and Metals, Minerals and Chemicals or CCCMC 
uh, guidelines for sustainable natural rubber and also other relevant guidelines. Ten companies, four allowed, and six companies in Cambodia agreed to participate in the project and piloting uh, the, the guidelines. The challenges of implementing these uh, projects are the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the implementation of the projects. As face-to-face uh, -face meetings were often kept in minimum given the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the lack of physical interaction between stakeholders has been a barrier to build trust and close collaboration. Uh, making it more difficult to engage with the private sector and other key st stakeholders. Some companies were reluctant to participate in the meeting organized by IMGO, uh, given negative plays related to the rubber production practices and impact to local communities. Uh, other companies were uncomfortable speaking at the meeting or in the forum and were uh, distrustful of the engagement in the projects as they assumed INGO would name and shame them. Uh, during the process of pre-screening for selecting the, the company, consulting with the companies, some companies share a negative impression of INGO based on previous experience and aggressive advocacy approaches that use naming and shaming without providing practical advice and opportunities to resolve the issue. Oxfam has been uh, has taken this feedback very seriously and will be tactical in identifying influencing approaches to support the companies to improve practices. Um, the follow the money study will identify hidden pressure points uh, uh, where communities and other interested parties can direct their advocacy to get the results. This information will be key, a key to the development of the future, more effective strategies to prevent harm, scare, and support local communities to take control uh, of their own development.